Omar bin Khattab knocks on the door. Omar does not hide in society. He just walks through the streets, by the way. He's not afraid of anybody. Walks with his sword still with him. Why does he still have a sword with him? Because he was going to kill the Prophet A man looks out, he sees Omar radiallahu anhu at the door. This is the nightmare scenario of them all because if there was anyone that would, that would just kill them all and not care about consequences, it was Omar radiallahu anhu, right? Guess who's sitting there amongst them that wasn't sitting with them before? Hamza radiallahu anhu. He says, what's your problem? He's completely relaxed as if nothing is happening right now. Hamza says, open the door. He says, if he wants good, then Allah will receive him with good. And if he's come with some other intention, then I will kill him with my own sword. I'll separate his head from his body. Hamza, Hamza says, let Umar in. I'm not worried about him. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, go ahead and let him in. If Allah wants good for him, then Allah will guide him. SubhanAllah, when they open the door for Umar, does Hamza apprehend Umar? No. The Prophet ﷺ goes up to Umar and he grabs him with both of his hands and he starts to shake his garment and he brings him to his knees. What brought you here, O oh, Ibn al-Khattab? Are you not going to stop until Allah sends a lightning bolt or some sort of disaster upon you? What is your problem? When are you going to wake up, O oh, Umar? Like this is tough love from the Prophet ﷺ to Umar anhu. And Umar anhu was brought to his knees. And Umar was such a big man that when he's brought to his knees, you're eye to eye with him. So he says, Ya Rasulullah, I've come to you to believe in Allah and to believe in the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what he has brought from Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa annaka Rasulullah. Right away, I testify to the oneness of Allah and that you are the Messenger of Allah. What was the response of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. He says Allahu Akbar. So what does everyone do? They all shout Allahu Akbar, forgetting that they were in a hidden home in Mecca. They used to try to keep their voices down in Dar al-Arqam. They all shout Allahu Akbar because they realized that Umar radiallahu anhu just became Muslim. Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and said, Ya Muhammad, the inhabitants of the heavens right now are celebrating the Islam of Umar. All of the Sahaba are saying Allahu Akbar. And Jibreel alayhi salam tells the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, all of the angels in the heavens are also Praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine the angels in the heavens, all the inhabitants of the heavens saying Allahu Akbar. Because they know that what just happened is no small deal.